Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again with the love of my life. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. I'm ready for the storm to come I am in. too. We are going to be getting a hurricane. I think like around 10 p.m. is when we're supposed to start like feeling it. We're starting to get the wind right now and I love hurricanes. Yeah. It sucks that it's coming at night though because that's scary. Tornadoes. I'm nervous about mm. that for real. So the first person that I want to talk about is James Charles because he's getting called out for many reasons over on TikTok currently. But the reason that I want to talk about is he's being accused of ripping off another makeup company. Once again, I know you guys are very shocked. shocked. James Charles has never ripped anybody off in his entire career on social media. Never not one mm -hmm. time. Never. Well, the brand that they think that he ripped off is Patrick Ta because Patrick Ta came out with that blush duo where one is a powder and the other one is a cream. James Charles came out with one and it looks like it's in the same kind of component so people are losing their mind over on TikTok. It is finally time for the special announcement that you've all been waiting for. Greetings everyone, my name is James Charles, the CEO of Makeup Brand Painted. As we have grown and released more products into the market, we have refined and perfected our product development process so that every single step of the procedure is flawless. From our makeup factories to your makeup collections. I am so excited to finally announce our most anticipated launch yet, our painted blushes. We are launching with eight beautiful, stunning shades. And let me just say, when I received my first lab samples, I immediately fell in love. What are these colors? This is not what I sent to the... Oh my God. You're literally... Oh my God, look at that. Oh, here we go. You guys, can someone please explain to me why these shades literally look like something my grandma would have worn during the Great Depression? Wait, you cannot send that. Do not send that. At Painted, we specialize in packaging and had to ensure that our marvelous shades were presented in the most unique and inventive way possible. To deliver convenience throughout an artist's makeup routine, our exterior packaging even features a 3D paint swatch that seamlessly mirrors the color of the product inside. There is no way any factory saw these three colors and thought they looked the same. Do you see this? Do they think that I can't see this? This is a makeup brand for James Charles, not Ray Charles. Each component is home to two perfectly paired matching blush formulas one cream and one powder tied together by a unique shade name handwritten in our signature painted script. Pink drink looks good, Dolly Doll's also good. Let's take a look at Peach Beach. Are you, there's no. Did anybody look at this box before you sent it to me? Can you read that please? Peach Beach. It's supposed to say Peach Beach. I have not said hi sisters in a video in years. I'm not a nut. After the production of our blushes was completed, which <laughs> was a piece of cake. They made their way to our local painted warehouse right here in Los Angeles, California. What do you mean the truck crashed? Okay, okay. Breaking news this morning, 100 car pile up on the 405 South caused by a truck oh. carrying blushes. And now they are finally ready to be in your hands and makeup routines. Our painted blushes are set to release on September 23rd, which I know is still a couple of weeks away, but we wanted to make sure that our artists had plenty of time to prepare to grab this brand new product that we have just announced. Again? You guys cannot be serious right now. There's no way. They've already been delayed so many times. If they don't launch soon, you guys, they're not even going to come out until what? Like 2024? What do you think? Are you surprised at all? James Charles has been called out mm. for copying people before. Remember when he had it out with Ethan from H3? Yeah, about color blocking? Yep. That was insane. That's like that time that James Charles thought that he invented the rainbow because of his palette. What I will say is though, there are other brands that use this exact same kind of component and like layout for their blushes. So I'm not surprised that James Charles went with that. It's a very popular thing. Obviously Patrick Ta has ones that do amazing. People love his products. It is a cream and a powder though. Okay. Like so. Well, I mean, there's nothing really original, new, or mm -hmm. innovative anymore anyway. I don't think so either. Can y'all let us know down in the comment section, like, what is the last, like, makeup product that you were, like, really excited for, like, when it came to beauty? Because the community is not the same like the it was back Queen in the day. Palette. People, the Swamp Queen palette that they said was going to be limited edition and they kept it around for, like, literally years. Tarte. <laughs> for, like, what, four years? A good long while. You could probably still order that it's big brand new. It's been a while. No, Tarte is actually getting called out right now for, like, months on TikTok and people have been coming out against them and right now they are in a lot of drama because they have been sending out those lavish gifts to some influencers again one of the influencers is alexis oakley Can't i actually i had to write her name down because i always call her alexa oakley Me i don't too. i don't 
I don't know why I can't get her name right. Because she's that damn annoying mm. girl. She's like besties with James yeah. Charles. That's right. And she brags about it. Mm -hmm. Strange. So apparently Tart was buying the loyalty of these influencers once again. They sent a Lexus Oakley and Hermes bracelet, that, which is like, what, six, seven, eight hundred dollars now? At least. Yeah. At least. Yeah. And there's another very popular influencer over on the platform. I can't think of what her name is right now. They sent her some cheese it. I would be so pissed. Cheese it. I'm gonna be so for real. I would send Ugh. them a nasty email. I'd be like, too. you're sending out Hermes bracelets mm -hmm. and I get a box of cheese it. But this is nothing new. Tart has been accused for years of buying the loyalty of these influencers. And these influencers want you to think that they're gonna be honest with you when they're like, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna talk about this new Tarte blush or this new Tarte foundation. No, the you're not. You're hoping for a Birkin to come Girl, in the mail. This is the same thing. Yeah. Do you remember all those years ago when they were getting those Cartier bracelets mm -hmm. that have like their whole arm filled with them, and they were yeah. all given to them by well, a lot of people. Are, some people are getting those off the DHK, like fake it till you make it. Which not knocking it at all oh. because I have seen it. Are those geese? Yeah, that Girl, the, the geese, geese are, are leaving. flying. They're leaving. They're leaving. Not a good sign. You should leave that in if you yeah. can hear it. Sounds like James Charles singing. But there's another reason that Tart is actually getting called out. Apparently they had some like summit where a bunch of people that work for them all got together. They went on some kind of a like, little trip. Basically they got to go and hang out with the CEO and a lot of people that are higher up at Tart and they got to submit an idea for like a new product. Like what they want to see with Tart, like so, what they want the new innovative thing to be. Like their version This lady, like their version of Shark yeah, Tank. Yeah, it was supposed to be Tart Tank is what they're saying. This lady in this video did not say it, but I mean people in the comment section confirmed it for everyone. So this lady was saying that she Used to work for Tarte and her friend actually did like a whole like prototype of this product which is now apparently one of Tarte's best-selling products out there that everybody is in love with over on TikTok it's constantly viral you guys are going to let me know what you think the product is down below but she said that her friend made the prototype went in front of Maureen the CEO and everyone else in the creative team submitted this to them showed it to them and basically was laughed out and said lip products are done they said that lip items were actually down trending for a very long time so why would she even think to do that she threw it in the trash and now all of a sudden, here we go at Tarte. Component, prototype, every single thing I'm was stolen. I'm not surprised by this at all. Story time about how a well-known makeup brand stole a product idea from my colleague and never gave her credit for it. So this all started back in 2018 when I attended a sales conference in Miami with the makeup brand that I was working for at the time. Prior to going to this conference, corporate had notified us, we were the field team, that if we wanted to participate in a thing called Shark Tank, except it wasn't called Shark Tank, it was called brand name tank. We would pretty much have the opportunity to prepare a presentation and then pitch it to not only the CEO and the executives, but also the entire field team at the sales conference. Oh, and the presentation was gonna be on any new product idea that we had for the brand that we thought they should make. The incentive for doing this was that the winner would have the opportunity to go to the New York corporate office and work directly with the product development team and pretty much be the visionary behind this new product launch. I'm sure you can guess where this is going, but stay with me because you need to know the whole story. Long story short, my colleague Jacqueline pitched the idea to have a plumping lip balm that also featured one of the brand's key ingredients in it. At the time, the brand only offered liquid lipsticks, a few lip glosses, and then like matte lip crayons. This was an entirely new concept for the brand because it had plumping benefits, moisturizing benefits, it used the brand's key ingredient, and it also came in a stick form. Now, I think we all know that brands are notorious for stealing ideas from small creators all the time. Before anyone comments calling her stupid and starts to question why she would give away an idea for free before getting paid for it, let me just finish the story because honestly, that's like the least bad part of it all. After Jacqueline gave her pitch, the CEO and the other executives pretty much just scoffed at her and sat there in silence kind of giggling with each other. They proceeded to make her feel like a total idiot and they told her, I quote, Lips are a dead category. They have been trending downward for years. I don't know why you would focus on a lip product. They embarrassed and shamed her so much to the point that Jacqueline literally just walked away and threw away her prototype and came back to sit at the table and she didn't want to talk about it. We were all like, good job, you know, you did amazing. And she had her head down and was almost in tears. Here we are, fast forward a few years later, and now that exact lip product, down to the exact prototype that she made, the exact name that she gave it, is now one of their best-selling SKUs in their entire brand. You see it all over TikTok shop, you see it being used by influencers, and so the point is less about the financial compensation or her getting the credit for it, it's the way that they treated her when she pretty much gave them the idea for their best-selling product. 
This brand has been notorious historically for treating people like absolute shit and having a lot of controversy surrounding them. I've been sitting on this story for years, but the reason that I want to talk about it now is because I'm so tired of seeing them repeatedly get away with doing unethical and terrible things to people and just getting away with it. This is a story coming from somebody who worked directly with the brand, who met the CEO, talked to the executives often, and knows firsthand what it's really like to work with them. You're not hearing this from somebody who gets sent PR packages with designer bracelets in it and will lie to you just because I want to keep getting, you know, free shit. And quick side note, because I just heard back from Jacqueline, and it turns out that the girl who actually ended up winning the whole Shark Tank presentation never actually even got to go to corporate or work with any of the product development team. They pretty much ghosted her and just stole her idea too. So yeah, that's the story. And again, we're not looking for money. No one's looking for credit. It's just to give you some more insight about how this brand operates. It's very bad. I'm not either because everyone, I'm sorry. People have been talking crap about Maureen for years and mm -hmm. how she is just not a nice person. And I believe it. Yeah. Look at how many times we've talked about brands like Kroger stealing mm -hmm. from people on TikTok. There's a few different brands that have been accused of doing that same shit. I don't trust any of these brands, big or small, that sit here and send out these lavish gifts to fucking anyone. There's a lot that do it. There's a lot. I want to say some names <laughs> so bad. Names. I do. I kind of want to. Blend Bunny does it. Blend Bunny sent out some very nice gifts to Michaela. I think mm -hmm. it was like something from Cartier. That to me is like, okay, we're buying loyalty. Cartier. Uh, who else? Tier Tier did it for Michaela. As they a did thank it for you. It was girl. she got an Hermes bag. Another person got a Gucci bag. It rubs me the wrong way when any brand does it. I understand that they want to say thank you, like because you made a product go viral, it sold out, all that kind of stuff. You want to show your gratitude. Mm -hmm. Totally understand that. Not knocking for that at all. But maybe like a big bouquet of flowers. Something that's not thousands upon thousands of dollars that's like a designer good. It's just, it's buying loyalty. You guys let it me know if I'm wrong down in the comment way. section. What other brands are guilty of doing this? Let us know, don't be shy. The next person that I wanna talk about is Jules Lebron because I have an update to the whole demure being stolen from her with the trademark. Mm -hmm. She is now coming out with the demure merch. I think it's actually launched. She uploaded a video the other day and she told everyone that GoFundMe actually reached out to her because when that person took the trademark for demure and all of that, she was worried that now she's not gonna be able to afford her like full transition. Mm -hmm. So GoFundMe apparently reached out to Jules and was like, hey, have you ever thought about doing like a campaign on GoFundMe and like raising the money that way? They would get a lot of awareness. Jules would make the money. I don't know if they would like pay it off for Jules, how it would have exactly worked, like what the logistics of it would have been. Oh my God, I do want to say this and I hope like this isn't weird and I hope GoFundMe doesn't like feel weird about this, but I'm really happy that I did this collaboration with them because initially, GoFundMe wanted me to do like a GoFundMe campaign for my transition. But with all the success that I'm seeing, all the opportunities, all the offers that I'm receiving, it would be absolutely wrong of me to take that opportunity from someone who needs it when I can afford to pay for my transition now. It is such a privilege, it is such a blessing, it is such an honor to be able to finally afford to be able to pay for my transition myself. So to have all these opportunities and then to turn around and say, hey, can you guys pay for my transition? Absolutely not. I'd rather use my platform and get someone else their transition. But Jewel said, and this is actually really good PR for her, Jewel said no to that idea and said, how about we do do a campaign and why don't you do it so somebody else can fund their transition instead of Jules focusing on it because Jules is on the up and up. Jules now has over a million people over on TikTok and is getting the brand deals and shit. Yeah. So Jules is in a very good spot. Good for her. So Jules, Good for you. Yeah. I have to say. I know Jules gets a lot of shit over on TikTok, but this... At one point in time, she deserved this it. This Jules? But I feel like she's kind of like... But I feel like she's cleaned her shit up a lot. And speaking of someone who hasn't cleaned up their shit, let's talk about Jeffree Star, because he is having <laughs> another bad day over on TikTok. I know Jeffree Star has lost his mind on one of his live streams once again, mm. and this time... Barb's was the person that he was like, I think they were battling together, but there were some rumors starting to circulate over on TikTok that Barb's and Jeffrey were like on the outs because she was not at the new launch party for like the 15th anniversary of the beauty killer or like his music where like some new stuff was launched. I think it was his music. I don't know what. Record. Girl, I don't keep up with like what the launches are. I'm gonna be completely honest to everyone. If you guys are a Jeffree Star fan, you'll be happy to know that him and Barb's are still on good terms. He was upset though, because apparently somebody has stolen his identity over on TikTok. Because the goal as like an artist over there is to have your music go viral because mm -hmm. you get a shit ton of plays. There are so many musicians out there that need to be thankful for TikTok and should actually protest against the government wanting to ban it more. Yeah, for sure. Because we would not know who the fuck you are or without <laughs> TikTok when a lot of these songs take McCray. It makes a lot of careers. Tate McCray. You know, they tried to say that Tate McRae was like Britney Spears for like this generation. In what world? I don't even know world? who Tate McRae is. She did the Greedy song. It was very popular on TikTok. 
See? So Jeffrey was on this live stream with Barb's and he was ranting about how this person like stole his identity, all of his music, even his old music was uploaded to an account over on TikTok, a Jeffree Star account. To you on my life it will be. That fake part, whoever's doing that is really, really upsetting me because they're pretending they're not impersonating me and they're claiming the music. Like, what is the point? <sighs> if you guys wanna see what I'm talking about, go to my friend, call her six. She has a brand new video with me where she uses Hi, How Are Ya? It, it was a dream of mine to have my music down here. It's not connected to my page yet. So when you click it, it goes to the artist, a fake Jeffrey page that's not verified and has 200 followers and has all my music even my old music that I legally own, all on their pages. This all needs to be migrated into my page. So all of this should be under me soon. I just think that's so crazy like, that they even was able to. It, it makes me sick, Barbara, and. I'm just trying to figure like, how was they even able to do that? I know, it's very upsetting. That would have never happened to anybody else, you know what I'm saying? That, listen, don't get me started. It's been a very wild weekend. It's really... the new music thing that happened on TikTok. I also submitted a claim that they are trying to be me, so it should be deleted soon. You guys, yeah, I'm, but like they, like they actually own it, y'all. That's what it like. like it's actually under their page. Like they actually, like you know, like you could upload. Like I could upload a song or something, right? And it'll. Let, let, let me explain it. As an artist, 15 years ago, this is an example because they have my music from 15 years ago on their page somehow. My music is uploaded through a distribution platform, right? Let's say Barb wants to make a single called Them Hoes, okay? She can make a song tomorrow. She wants to release it. Well, someone has to release it. So it goes on every platform. Alexa on Amazon, Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora. Someone has to upload that. And there's different distributions. One's called TuneCore. One's called Orchard. And these are things that independent artists use. So I use TuneCore. I've used it forever. It's one of the the easiest platforms for any independent artist. Mac Miller used to use it, MGK, so many people that before they were signed used this thing. So when you upload your music on TuneCore, it can be pushed to TikTok, Instagram, Meta. Well, that person claimed my music because I never claimed my old shit. So, well, how did they get the new stuff? Because they're already established as the artist profile. They made themselves Jeffrey the artist illegally without my permission. So TikTok has to migrate all my, all my songs off of their page and put it as the rightful person. They also need to change my page to an artist page. So yes, I will be able to sell makeup. I will be able to go live. I will be able to play all and lip sync to any artist on the planet, but it should say artist right under there. And there should be a music like tab, says. that part. And there should be a, a music thing right there with all my songs to tag, to do cool transitions. So someone is illegally stealing my stuff. Now the beauty of it is the streams still get calculated under my account. The streams and the money are still with me. So they're not stealing money but they've stolen my identity per se. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Sorry, I'm just a little annoyed right now because it's Monday morning and TikToks, they're working on it. They're working on it. I know, I not have my own song. So I uploaded a makeup tutorial yesterday. It said, oh, you can't use this song. <laughs> so I deleted the tutorial. I'm like, uh-uh, this, I'm waiting. So, mm -hmm. but TikTok is working on it. They care, they're a great partner and we have a lot of fun together, y'all. We really do. They are a great partnership. So no shade to TikTok, I love them. Okay. But apparently TikTok is gonna take care of it and everything is gonna be migrated over because people want Jeffree Star's music that bad on TikTok. So he's helping out the fans. That sounds like an in. He did have some good songs. Beauty Killer he was did. a good song. He did. Oh, no. Uh, Get Away With Murder was yeah, a good song. Yeah, I love song. Get Away That's With the Murder. song that I like. I like Prom Night. Okay. That music video was weird, though. He did also say that no money was stolen from him, like, in this situation, because I guess all the streams still do calculate to him, like, on other platforms. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but 
I'm sure even if they were still in the money, Jeffree Star mm -hmm. wouldn't have even noticed that he has so much money. Like, mm -hmm. he's so impacted by financial theft of, like, what, five streams? Mm -hmm. You know what's interesting is he went to the Nicki Minaj show, like, oh. the other day, and he always... Jeffrey loves to brag about being friends with Nicki Minaj or he once was friends with Nicki Minaj. He did a song with her before she blew up. He did that whole thing on TikTok when Megan and Nicki, when his came out and they were like beefing, he held up what his net worth was compared to her net worth and told her to basically shut the fuck up. And it's like, girl. Jeffrey's so annoying these days. The All whole this smoke for talk, women. The, yeah. Yeah. I Why always see him is? arguing with women. He never argues that, with men like that. Why do you ever, think that is? Ever. I'll have to let us know what you think that is. Misogyny. <laughs> and with all that said, everyone, that is it for this video. The wind is starting to pick up, so I guess we're going to end it here. <laughs> Please leave us a tree emoji. Yes, hopefully none of them blow down. Like a palm tree? Yeah. Just, <laughs> like maybe we'll get one tree. in the backyard. And if you made it this far, if you are not already, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. And we will see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Bye.